How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. And we're finally talking about Halo. Yes, we're talking about Halo because it's been way too long, but you know what? That Destiny grind has been real. I've been trying to get a lot, no, a lot of new views and stuff like that, so, you know, Halo might put a little bit of a burk back burner right there just because of new Destiny content, but don't forget, Halo's always going to be on this channel, guys. No worries. I got a decent little gameplay here for you guys, a little BTB action for you. But this video I want to talk about is my part two, my part... 20 part series is uh, how to make Halo great again. Yes. <laughs> um, because obviously there are a lot of things right now going on with the Halo community, especially with the recent video by um, Ready Up Live, who, you know, kind of put out in detail about, you know, in a clear, uh, you know, calm manner about how to make this game, you know, what it can be. You know, listen to the community and things like that. And so. In this video, I'm going to continue on with my series about how to, you know, make Halo better. That I feel like this would really help improve the series. And uh, this is not just these are not just my opinions. You know, I did review these video, uh, review these topics back on Reddit and back in the Halo forum as well, on the Halo forum there as well. Kind of getting the general feel of the public, and they all kind of agreed with me on this one. So uh, today's episode, what we're going to talk about is achievable Rex. Because uh, right now, as we all know, the rec system in Destiny 2, or not Destiny 2, but in Halo 5 is, well, just completely random. I mean, obviously, you can tilt things a little bit in your favor by opening up certain kinds of boxes, or packs, or rec packs, I should say. But the thing is, though, by doing that, making everything completely random, there is no sense of... Um, accomplishment with these wrecks. It's just something like you basically when you get them, you're like about time, you know, kind of feeling. Right? And I'm going like, yes, like you know, I put my time in, got exactly what I wanted, and it was fabulous. You know, um, and this reason why I want to talk about achievable wrecks is because well, one time we had this previously in, in Halo Reach, and I still remember the level of enjoyment I had when I finally unlocked the heart explosion thing that whenever you die you burst out on the hearts because i thought it was just hilarious especially for like such a m for an m-rated game and it was very you know first person shooter stuff you know just blow up exploding hearts i thought it was funny and you had to grind a lot to get that and same thing with the uh was it pestilence i think it was called it was like a buggy kind of storm thing around your character as well um and you know a lot of people grind enough for this that kind of stuff and, and you know give you a sense of accomplishment when you actually earned it the thing in Destiny, in the Halo 5, again, I keep saying that, in Halo 5, if you had those same things in Halo 5, no one would care. Because there's no sense of accomplishment when you get these things. It's just, you know, whatever. You know, it's just like, ah, oh, another thing that's uh, added to the list kind of thing. No sense of accomplishment. So I feel like one thing they could really do to really give a great sense of accomplishment in Halo 6 when that comes out is going to be achievable Rex, especially since uh, every free-to-play game that I've played has gives you the ability to buy whatever you want, exactly what you want. You don't get that in these $60 games that you have to pay for, which seems so odd to me. But uh, I feel like people will be more inclined to actually probably pay for an item if you can actually just unlock it. Of course, you'd have to you know get to a certain rank or something to play the game enough to where you would actually be able to get it rather than just you know strip and buy it. Pretty much like how, kind of like how it was with Battlefield 2. We all know how that turned, Battlefront 2, and we all kind of know how that turned out. <laughs> but um, some way to uh, unlock it with either paying for it or some way to pay, uh, unlock it by um, grinding for it. Look at this guy. What are you going to do in the back seat right there, man? Nothing. Um, so personally, I would like to have an ability to buy certain items with in game credits, uh, especially, say, like, you know, I can I bring this example up constantly, but I still do not have it. It's the Halo 2 Battle Rifle. I've been playing this game for two years. Two years, and I still don't have that. That gun was available, like, within, like, the first few months of the game being out. Why? Because I get terrible drops, and I'm always, and right now, I'm constantly afraid of spending my gold, my rec points right now, because I have a feeling that once the rec points, once I spend all my rec points, you know, the bun 3 for 3 is going to come out with... A, you know, a special rec packs that give you all the awesomeness that you've wanted this whole time. Just spend 100,000 rec points to get this pack kind of thing or whatever. It really makes me mad. It makes me not want to spend points. Ugh. So if I had a way to actually earn what I want, then I would make this rec point system much more enjoyable. Because right now it's just completely random and it gives you no sense of achievement. And so... Like I said, uh, for example, if, you're here, uh, if, you want, if I wanted to unlock a Halo 2 Battle Rifle... 
uh, have me grind out for 200,000 rec points or something, you know, really high that makes you, you know, save up your points and spend on that specific item. You know, to give you a uh, trade-off between unlocking items like customization, other kind of uh, war zone weapons, and getting the specific thing that you want. That's kind of a trade-off right now, and uh, that's how it is in Battlefront 2, and, you know, obviously, I hate to use that for an example, but at least it's more... Yeah, a chance to grind out for the stuff that you want rather than just randomly receive it and that's my main point with this video right here and so um and so the ways to kind of go about doing that yeah it's just you know give me a chance to grind out what i want within in-game in credits or give me um, improved odds to get what i want with uh you know the uh, purchasing of these rec packs as well because we all know it's coming back for Halo 6 because it did really well in Halo 5 and they're just intrusive enough to make people buy them. That's the thing. They're not intrusive enough to where you get backlash like it did with Battlefront 2, but they are, um, you know, enough, they give you enough incentive in the game to make you want to buy them. So they get a decent amount of, uh, um, of incentive to buy these things, but uh, I would really like to see a way to earn a few of these wrecks as well. Um, like say do like I know it's been mentioned in previous uh, commentaries as well say like I think it was from the all skulls on podcast they mentioned about like say like they get the hell jumper um, you know helmet you have to ground pound somebody from like a hundred feet up in the air or some X amount of feet up in the air kind of thing so you know when someone gets that you know you're like oh that's pretty cool uh, it looks like someone really you know they worked for that that's that was one of the things that made it uh, like the Hayabusa armor so uh sought after it because i think it's if you beat the game beat the campaign on legendary something like that you know tie rex in a way earn rex in a way by playing the campaign and non you know, player the player game modes just because not everyone plays you know the multiplayer here but they want to unlock cool customization and stuff like that for say you want to play custom matches or something like that um but you know, just like I think it needs some work and just an ability for uh, to give Rex a sense of achievement is mainly what I'm trying to focus on this video here, rather than have it being completely randomized and really there's no incentive really or no you can't earn an item and be like yes I got it you earn it the way you get these items in Halo 5 right now and the way the Rex system works is that you're kind of like oh about time like I mentioned earlier so. Uh, that's pretty much what I want to say. I know it's kind of a ranty video, but that's basically what I want to touch on with this video. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you would do for the Rex system. I do read all the comments and try to apply the most of them as well. And if you're uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. If you want to see more content like this, I have another 18 more parts of this series, so I definitely will be talking about it. And also, if you're new to the channel and want to see some more Halo 5 and Destiny 2 content, please make sure to tap the subscribe button. Let me know you want to see more content like this as well. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.